nervous. And I'm so freaking proud of them for getting out of their comfort zone because nothing grows there. And I'm a firm believer that when you step up to the plate, when you show up, when you do stuff like this, the scary stuff, right? Because we're all sensing consultants, right? We all do the same exact thing. If you can't be brave with us, you're not going to be brave in your business where it truly, truly matters. And as a leader, right? Your team has to see you do these kinds of things. They got to say like, oh, Emma's doing this and Deanna's doing this, so I can do it too. That's the best part about leadership. You don't have to have all the right answers. You don't have to do it just right. You don't have to do a million things. You have to show up and lead. And part of leadership is showing your team that it can be done. Okay. It's not being perfect. It's not being the best leader, the perfect leader, doing all these things. It's showing them that it can be done. So what you're doing tonight is not only stepping out of your comfort zone, but it's also showing your team that it's possible, that you can be nervous. You can be nervous. You can be scared, but do it anyway. Because when you do things like this, when you go live on a leadership page, when you post on a leadership page, when you do these trainings, right, you're going to be more likely to have that sponsoring conversation with the person you want to sponsor. You're more likely to ask that person to party with you or follow up with that customer. The more you do things like this, the more you get out of your comfort zone. So I just want to say I'm incredibly proud of both of you and I can't wait to learn from both of you tonight. Me too. All right, Emma, I'm going to spotlight you, okay? I got to find you first on my list. Okay. I just went and uh, posted on my team page that if you're a leader, you should be on this call. So if y'all haven't done that on your team pages, you should do that because if you're here, they should be here. You did. All right, Emma, you're live. All right. So first of all, I'd like to say I am extremely nervous, which is funny because I do this for a living on a daily basis, eight hours a day, I get in front of folks that I don't know around the country and I teach them how to do things. So uh, I think it's just because it matters a lot um, what we do and how we kind of lead and how we are stewards for our team. So I think that this is, for me, we're changing lives and that's important for me. So I think that's why I'm nervous tonight. So for those of you who don't know me, I am a mom of three. Um, I have a 12-year-old who is a high-functioning autistic child. I've got two girls, uh, one nine and one five. Uh, and my husband and I both have full-time jobs during the day. Uh, so definitely a busy life, fun life, but busy. Um, so yeah, just to, for everybody to get to know me. Um, so I wanted to start by talking about my journey because I feel like a lot of the lessons that I learned and that I have to share are within uh, my journey and my story. Um, so I'll start with, I know Katie, who was my sponsor. Um, I knew her. We grew up in around the same town. Uh, I think my brother and her are the same age, but we knew each other. Love her, love her memes, loved her jokes, all of those things. Partied with her twice. She asked me to be a consultant many times. I told her no. Um, the year that I did become a consultant, she messaged me and all she said is it's time. And I was like, okay, yeah, you're right. Um, so I decided, you know, it was a $15 join special, but I wanted to invest in my business um, because I wanted to take it seriously from the very beginning. Um, that was something that I think when folks ask me, hey, do you think I should join with the hostess kit or the $99 kit or the $15 kit? I just say, you know, this is an investment into your business. Here's your options of how you can invest. Um, and then from that point, you know, and I let them know that I joined with the $99 kit. And the reason I did that was because I truly wanted some skin in the game. Um, and I think there's something to be said about people who invest in their business because they have something to lose at that point. Um, and I knew that I wanted this to be a business from the beginning. My husband has always called it a business. My kids refer to it as our family business. It is at this house. It's not a hobby. It's a business. And we make it, we make it known that that's the case. Um, so I also joined because I wanted the diffuser 
and I had already bought one and my mom bought one and Katie made the commission on that. And then the second one that I was going to buy, I was like, wait, I should probably make money off of this. <laughs> like if I want to do this anyway, why am I waiting? Um, so very thankful that Katie asked me for like the sixth time. So thanks for being consistent, Katie, and persistent. Um, because I think she saw that I wanted it, but just I needed that push. And I think that's what you guys need to recognize is people who really do want it and might just need that little bit of a push. So my first real teeny once I started running my business wasn't until March. Um, and so I joined in September and I did not sponsor until March. So any of you who have sponsored in your first six months, you are ahead of where I was at that point. Um, and it wasn't because... I, it was because I didn't know how to sponsor and not in that nobody had taught me. It was that I didn't know how to get out of my own way to sponsor. Um, so I would have those conversations, but it would be like, almost like I was talking them out of it. So it's really important to understand what is your message? Why do you, they want to join? And then what is it that you're trying to give them um, to benefit them in your conversation? I think, like I said, I was trying to talk people out of it because I didn't know how to show them what they could get out of it. Um, and so I think that's really important for us to form our conversations before we ever have them. And yes, you're going to be flexible with it because people have different scenarios, but really understanding and being strong in why it is that they should join because they should. This is a great opportunity. There is a immense amount of benefit that can come from this. And I'm not even talking about monetary. I'm talking about the confidence boost. I'm talking about, you know, giving people a community when they don't have one. Um, and just really, I think the support in this company is, you know, second to none. I know that today has been one of the worst days that I've had in a long time. And just the support of this community has been just amazing. Um, so yeah, so throughout the six months or 12 months, I stayed consistent. I posted, I shared about the business. I shared how we use the products. My family would make samples and we'd take pictures. It was just very much about sharing. It was very much about being consistent, showing up. Um, I didn't, I didn't really have a large team, but I showed up, we talked, we did things together. Um, and I think that staying consistent is very important. Um, your customers need to know that you're going to be there for the long run. Um, so when a new product came out, I showed them. When a, you know, the scent of the month came out, I sent it to them. When um, you know, staying consistent and doing these things constantly, you start showing up on people's feeds. You start showing up and people start seeing you. And actually, so in May, so I joined in September, so now we're in May. I've been consistent. I've been posting. I've been doing all the things, maybe not hitting the 2000 a month, but still working hard at my business, not giving up. And in May, I posted a video about a dryer disc, simple video, showed how to use a dryer disc, threw it in the dryer. And that was it. One of my friends who had been a friend of mine for about five years messaged me and she's like, hey, how do I get that dryer disc? I said, oh, it's two to a pack. They're seven dollars. I can get you some, no problem. And she goes, hey, how do I get them for free? I was like, oh, you want them for free? Yeah, that, that, that's a good point. Um, we could do a party. <laughs> and uh, she was like, okay, let's do that. So we're doing this party and we're going good. There's, you know, thousand dollars in sales and it's the $15 join month. And she goes and she joins. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, we could have used your party. You could have joined and got a kit. She's like, no, 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 don't worry about that. I wanted to join for $15. I'm good. I'll, I'll start hitting the ground next month. I said, are you sure? Like, cause we had closed your party and I was like, what are you doing? Why didn't you tell me? She's like, no, 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 we're good. So this girl was so just lit on fire that it just put a fire in me. Um, and I know that Katie sometimes says it's those little things that happen that make you like, it's just those little habits. It's those little consistencies that make your business grow that dryer disc video and this girl joining my team and kind of lighting this fire under me has, it just, it started to grow. And Katie had said, it only takes one. It only takes one. And I was like, look, I've been in here for nine months. It's not taking one. I don't know what's happening, but it was real because when that girl joined, 
And her first month, she hit $2,000. And when she hit that, I had only hit it once in the nine months. And I was like, okay, if she can do it in her first month, I'm, I've got to step my game up. I was like, let's figure out how to do this. And it wasn't us competing in a bad way. It was us challenging each other to be better. When you find someone on your team who can challenge you to be better, that's when you're going to grow because you're going to feed off of each other. It's going to ignite you. It's going to make you excited and you're going to grow. So we grew and grew and grew. And she was doing amazing and we were growing this team and we had our team page. And in September, I, we hit director and it was, it was crazy. It was amazing. I was kind of panicked. You know, I would message Katie and be like, what, you know, what's going on? Why is this happening? And she's like, you've stayed consistent. You've worked your business. This isn't a surprise. Like here's, you know, here's what you're doing. This is great. Um, And things were great. And they continue to be great. We continue to be consistent. So then in December, and this is why I tell you my journey. In December was our first month uh, that we did not hit, uh, that we didn't hit the director numbers. And I messaged Katie and she's like, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. So then January comes around. We didn't hit director numbers. I was like, okay, it's okay. Don't worry about it. So then February comes around and we didn't hit director numbers. So now we're in the queue. And if you don't know what the queue is, when you're a director, if you don't hit your director numbers for three months in a row, then you are put into the director queue. When we got in the queue, I remember calling Katie because Katie was like, let's get on a call. Let's talk. You know, it's, it's okay. Everything will be okay. So I got on a call with Katie and Katie said something in that call that I was just like, okay, that's the motto that I'm going to live by. She said, Don't focus on the letter, focus on being consistent and focus on leading with love. And I said, okay, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay consistent. I'm going to show up, lead with love. So I don't know if you guys remember, but March of last year was when we had that insaneness of the, um, the pandemic like kicked off and everybody, it was just, I don't know, since he went insane in that month. And uh, I actually ended up getting out of the queue and we promoted our first first line, uh, frontline director in that month. So that was craziness all in one month. Um, and again, I think it's due to the fact that we all stayed consistent. We continued to grow. But that whole thing that Katie said where it was like, don't focus on the title, don't focus on the letter because the queue, queues are scary, right? Like being in the director queue, it sounds scary, but it's not. It's just a matter of, you got where you are, you have to grow and you have to continue to be consistent. And it was one of those things where if I stayed in the queue, it would have been okay. If I got out of the queue, it would have been okay. I think that um, a lot of people, especially now, I know that we're going into, uh, some people have been, you know, they didn't hit it in December, they didn't hit it in January, they didn't hit it in February. Or they're not, or they're worried about not hitting in February. Um, so I think that it's just really important to say it's a letter. Don't focus on it. It's okay. Stay consistent. Work your business. It will grow if you tend to it and water it and do what you're supposed to do. So Katie says lead with love, and I wanted to add to that because I think it's very important to lead with love and with zeal. So the definition of zeal is to have great energy or enthusiasm in pursuit of a cause or an objective. I don't know about you, but changing lives and inspiring others is definitely a cause or objective that you can be passionate about. Um, So when you lead with zeal and you're positive, so another word for zeal is positivity, when you're positive, and it's hard to stay positive, I get that, I 100% get that. But when you are positive, your team is positive. When you share positivity and light, your team shares positivity and light. If y'all right now, I'm just looking at Ray Ray and Katie's like off screen, off camera picture, like those pictures are light and positivity. And that's what your team needs to see. And that's what your customers want to see. And I think that's one thing that's gotten us where we are today. I try to remain positive. I don't post about politics. I don't talk about anything that's, you know, off the, you know, if there's two sides to it, I don't talk about it. Um, You know, I love, I love God and I will talk about God and I'll 
post my praise and worship music and stuff like that, because you're not going to stop me from doing that. But when it comes to being uh, just a light and being zealous and positive, you want to make sure that you're, you're doing that even in your team pages, guys, there are, there are very little things that I allow in my page when it becomes, when people start to complain, I shut it down. And that's what you got to do. You got to grow this culture of, we don't complain. We don't complain and we don't, uh, and we don't badmouth the company. We don't badmouth the hand that feeds. Think about it. Um, if you're getting paid, then they're feeding your hand. So just think about that for a second. Um, but really pay attention, pay attention to your Facebook. I know it's crazy, but pay attention to them. Look at the people who complain and look at the company that they keep, because you need to realize that if you want to keep a successful business, have people on your team that are not energy, uh, suckers, or I think they call them verifiers. Sorry. Like you don't want those type of people. Then you can tell that by their page. You can tell that by their attitude. Just remember that this is this is a job and you can say, okay, you know what? They're not for me um, because they might not be. There, there are certain things that are criteria and one of them is staying positive. Um, showing up. So I know Katie alluded to this at the beginning. So I have had this motto over the last couple of months, which is show up when you can't, how you can. So even when you think you can't, still show up in any way that you can. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little bit blunt right now and I apologize in advance, but every one of us can put on a post. Every one of us can message a person. Every one of us can follow up with a customer. Like you have time to post a post on your team page. You have time to send a message to a customer. You have, to, you, you have time to message or follow up on an order or to say thank you. Like you have time to do those things. But here's the hard truth. If you cannot do these things, it's because you don't do them. It's because you don't want to do them. It's not because you don't have time to do them. And I and I want to make sure that everyone understands my heart when I say that. Like I am a hundred percent guilty of this. <laughs> and that's why I feel like I can say it right now. When you, when you show up and you feel like you can't, show up how you can. And, that, and that's my, like, I guess, my moment of truth. So now I'm done um, with that part. So in showing up on how you can, I want to tell you, only do what you can do and what you can manage. Only do what you can do and manage. If you can, I know that there are times where people are like, uh, cut the fluff. So a lot of times when people say that, they don't understand what that means. So I want you guys, I'm going to do a little interaction here. So I'm going to open up the chat. There's 57. I'm not going to read them all. Tell me something that's fluff in your business or, so, or maybe not in your business, but tell me something that's fluff that you think people can cut. I see samples. I see cute samples. Yes, I am not doing another mold a day in my life, okay? Y'all with the hearts and the stars and the flowers, more power to you, 100%. Personal whiff boxes, deluxe sampling, expensive packaging, amen. All right. That was <laughs> I was just reading that list. That wasn't one. All the extra flyers, felt samples and call it a day. Yep. Uh, if Shelby was on here, I know she's, she would be the number one to say team, team mail outs. Um, you know, I believe in rewarding folks. I believe in giving them, you know, saying thank you because don't forget you're here because of other people. Like we, we all did not do this alone. Um, but I think that there are ways that we can do it in a way that we're not being fluffy about it. Um, so I stopped doing, unless it's a holiday, I stopped doing the mail outs. I stopped, I did the other stuff. If you promote and that kind of stuff, I even started doing like bright boxes for $5 and Cheryl's cookies for $5 that they'll ship for free. Um, because by the time you do your thing, plus shipping, think about it, you've already got $5. Send them Venmo, $5 for coffee. Like, yeah. So there's things that you can do that are possible without doing all the fluff. 
Um, good. Thanks for interacting. I figured that would make it a little bit more exciting. Um, yeah. So if you're ever wondering what fluff is, there you go. There's a list. There's some things that you can cut out of your business if needed. Uh, so do I have a few more minutes? I don't want to go over my time. Okay. Um, yeah, and I'm hopping all over the place, so I apologize. Uh, and you know what? I'm just going to say something really quick. So you remember how I said show up when you can, when you can't, how you can? So tonight I knew my husband was like, are you really going to do that training after everything you've been through? For those of y'all that don't know, my best friend's uh, father passed away last night from COVID. Uh, so it's been a rough day. But I knew that getting on here and seeing all of your beautiful faces would bring some light and some happiness. Um, so I decided that this was how I could show up today. So thank you for having me. Um, just as a quick side note. All right, so another thing is to look at, so this is something that I did and I did not do last year and I thought it was really cool. Look at your team stats for last year. Look at how many teamies hit shooting star, how many hit certified, how many hit uh, sensational start levels, how many went to lead, how many, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Look at that and recognize what I like to call your rate of conversion. So if you're thinking about, um, you know, you sponsor a person and they, you know, you only had four out of the 35 people that join your team hit sensational start level one, then maybe there's a disconnect there in the training. And I think this, this will call out some big opportunities within our businesses. I think that if we actually look at the stats, even if it's only the shooting star and the certified and maybe the sensational start levels, just because you're a lead or a star consultant, I think that this is something that everyone can apply to their business. Um, and then also the other part that I wanted to do was if there are folks that have never sold a dime, then look at how they were sponsored. Look and see if there were opportunities for improvement in the conversation, in their assumptions of the business. Like try to learn from those folks that you, because you spent time, you sent them your link, you spent time maybe training them, maybe you didn't, and maybe that's where it fell. Like, but you spent some time to get these folks into the team. So look at it and see what is going on in their onboarding. I like how Katie just called it that. I do that every day. I don't know why I wouldn't use that word. <laughs> I'm an onboarding specialist. That's really funny. Um, but look at their onboarding and see where are the areas that you can improve? Because if you look at those and you learn from them and you actually do improve, you'll see a difference year over year. And I actually have some of those improvements as my goals for this year, because I want to see growth in those different areas. Like how many people go from certified to lead? That's a big deal, right? Because then it's sensational start levels and it just continues to be other things. Um, yeah, so the last thing that I'm gonna say is this is my first time that I have ever done a training for leaders. I've done trainings for my page, I don't know how many times, but this is the first time that I've ever done a training for leaders. And if I'm 100% honest, it's because I never felt like I had an original idea or anything good to share or say. But over the last year, I've realized that people hear different voices and words and they receive them differently. And when you, so what I want you to think about is Charlie Brown. And think about when a teacher speaks to the children, how they hear the teacher's voices versus the kids' voices. And I want you to think about the next time you have the opportunity to go live on a team page, a leadership page, or go live in this leadership call, I want you to think about the fact that you could be the kid voice to Charlie Brown. Thanks, everybody. Wow, you just blew that out of the water. That last note was like, boom. It's so true, though, because some people are going to connect more with others. Not everyone is going to connect with the same person. So the fact that you just brought that up was literally like a, a mic drop because 
I feel like so many people think that they don't have something to offer, but at the end of the day, like you don't know if someone's going to connect with you on a personal level, just by sharing what you're doing in your business. So Emma, thank you so much. That was gold. Show up when you can't, how you can. I love that. I have it on a sticky note. Oh, I'm so quote quoting. I'm so going yeah. to do a quote for and Ray Ray just nailed it on the head right then before Deanna come, before Deanna shares. Um, people learn from so many different people. And the thing I really want you guys on this call to really realize is you do have the impact, the power to empower other people. Whether you think it or not, the woman that spoke at World Tour, Kendra, she talked about this, sharing your story and being you. You don't have to be perfect. But I can promise you that... Emma, you showing up on this call, literally you have me on fire and you have me excited and you just made an impact in my business and you made an impact in my life just by taking 20, 30 minutes out of your time to share. And it's that powerful. You have Same. that power. Same. I, I have, I'll be honest, I haven't gone as deep as to see who hit, how many of my people hit sensational start and the different levels. Like I haven't gone that deep, but I will be after this training. So thank you for that. So good. Oof. All right. So Deanna, short term girl coming in hot. I got that song. <laughs> All right. Did I do that right? Yep, you're ready. Go ahead, girl. Okay. Emma, you're a tough act to follow. I'm super nervous, and you did that seamlessly, and hearing what you just dealt with yesterday makes me want to cry. And I'm, an, I'm a crier all the time, so <laughs> you guys get past that. Um, so when I was asked, I got a text message one day when I was at the gym from Ray to do this. And initially, honestly, I read it and slammed my phone down. I was like, I'm not dealing with that right now. <laughs> um, I was scared, but I felt like it was something that I could do and I should do. So I replied and told her that I would do it and let me know a date and time and what I would be talking about. And we'd go from there. Then yesterday or two days ago, it's like, here, we're doing this. And it's at this time. And I freaked out, immediately freaked out. I have a cold sore. <laughs> because of stress, like immediately a cold sore popped up. Um, so I went to my team page and I told them all I need your help and asked them to comment how I have led them. I, it's hard for me to take compliments. So what I found myself doing is they're complimenting me so graciously. And in return, I'm commenting and complimenting them all back. Um, so some of the things that they said, uh, some of the words that just came repeatedly was that I put time, effort, heart, commitment, generosity, they admire me, the encouragement and the dedication that I give to them. They're all like my little chickens. <laughs> and I'm literally helping them. Um, everybody that has joined my team has literally come to me. I haven't asked for anybody to join. Uh, actually I did, I asked Michelle to join because she was spending so much money. I told her that I felt greedy for taking her money and that she can put it all back in her pocket. So I explained the whole process. Like if you're using laundry and wax, you might as well join because even if it's just every other month that you're spending $200, you will um, benefit yourself rather than benefiting my pocket. Um, so, I'm losing my train of thought very quickly. Um, a lot of my team has come from me sharing. I um, went out of my shell and started sharing accolades because I am happy for what has been happening. It's been happening to me so fast. I joined six months ago on August 6th. And I think in two days, I shared $500 in product. In 27 days, I shared $6,000 in product with one teaming. And um, I did not think I would ever have a teamie, but Courtney came to me and said, hey, I have this order. She sent me all of her order. It was $130. And I said, I can't let you spend that money. 
uh, let's have a party. I explained to her how it worked. She had the party. Her party was like $886. So she essentially got everything she wanted and more. I talked to her about flipping. I didn't know what I was talking about at the time, but she was like, no, 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 we don't have to do that. She joined and uh, we have a teamie named Caitlin who we call her our never ever girl, our never ever consultant because her party she had with me, which is a mutual friend was $1,100. That was my second party. Um, she said, I said, you, your friends want to support you. Your friends want to buy from you. You are crazy to not do this. And her words was, I said, I would never, ever, ever be a consultant of anything. Kaylin has a lot of really good <laughs> quotes. They're very funny. They're not meant to take, be taken seriously. Some of them is always speak negative about everything. And it's all jokes, but it's hilarious. And then one morning I woke up and she had joined uh, Courtney's, my, my first front, she had joined Courtney. So, and we were all three of us new together. We, none of us knew what we were doing. <laughs> and I was the leader of the blind. Um, but all of us, we have truly, as a, as a blind team, have truly done amazing. I'm in shock. I think I hit director with five people total on my team. It's been, it's been crazy. So if I talk all over the place, just know that all of this is all over the place. Like it's been coming at me crazy. I'm sweating my feet. Everything is sweating right now. But one story that I want to share with you all. Um, there is a girl. She might be here. Maybe not. Her name is Crystal. Um, Crystal had went through something recently that I went through in my life uh, eight years ago. Um, she's an acquaintance of mine. And I took all of my rewards from a party. I want to say it was like, I think I spent out of pocket like $126. She went through something devastating. And I know what it would mean, what it would mean to me if somebody that was an acquaintance delivered me something. So I told her to pick out some Scentsy items, um, anything she wanted, and that I would have it sent to her to relax, to take care of herself, and just know that somebody loves her. So in doing that and sharing my story, I was telling her how, because I joined Scentsy in the middle of COVID. Like I was at home alone a lot. My boyfriend was dealing with the business and 72 employees that no longer had an income because he shut down for two months. So he's taking care of them and I'm just sitting at home, just waiting, waiting, wondering what's going to happen next. Um, so joining Sensi put me in touch with people that even though you're friends with people on Facebook, you don't talk to them as often other than a happy birthday or happy new year or whatever's happening. So joining Sensi connected me, actively connected me with so many of old friends, family members. One of my cousins is on my team. I signed up under my daughter. Um, so back to Crystal, I shared with her what was happening to me, the positive light that was coming into my life from joining Sensi. I knew that she had a consultant that she could sign up under. And I expressed that to her, like, I'm not coming to you for you to sign up with me. I know you have a friend that shares Sensi. Pick one of your friends. This is, I, I, you need this. Like I was literally praying to God, this girl needs this. So I sent her the products. She was super, super happy with them. She thanked me and um, she joined and she is doing phenomenal. I think her first month, she's over $2,000. It's now her second month. She's messaged me along the way. And along the way, of course, you know, she has her sponsor, which I've introduced myself to and just explain why I have reached out to her because not all the time when, we, when somebody joins Sensi, is it going to be a financial gain for us? Sometimes it's going to be just me looking and watching her and seeing how happy she is, sharing the product, again, connecting with more and more people, going through a dark moment in her life that, you know, now it's not so dark anymore, but I just felt earning money on her own, saving money by bringing, by buying the products through host credits and things like that, I felt like was going to give her a boost of self-esteem that I felt she needed. And it turns out she does, she did, and she's doing extremely well extremely well. So it's not always somebody that you're going to share your story with that's going to end up on your team, but you're going to be able to watch them grow. You're going to be able to watch them have happiness and everything that 
we personally are having. And what's, what's even more cool is she is in, I, I get confused about this whole team and group. She's in, I think a group. So she's like one or two people. I think she, Elena is her director who Elena went to school with my daughters. So we're still like together, even though we're not like, you're not with me, but we're still, she's still with me. So she's somebody that I'm trying to, you know, take care of and help along the way. So a lot of these things that I have written down for notes, um, Emma did also point out um, something that I think that, that I have heard a lot is declaring your role and what you want to be in Sensi. And I think that is important because for somebody like me, I am naturally a caretaker. I did family child care for 18 years. So it is my instinct to take care of everybody. So it's hard for me now as my team is growing to have everybody else sign other people on, but then they're just like, oh, you know, Deanna's gonna do it. Deanna's gonna do it. Deanna's gonna teach. So today I was sitting down with one of my girls and explaining to her, I would help, but we need her. Our goal is for her to become her leader. You know, I will always help and guide along the way, but I'm seeing where people say you don't overextend because I will easily overextend myself. And my team is growing very fast, like faster. I mean, I never thought I'd have one teaming. Like I was never going to ask anybody. I was nervous to do this. I actually asked my daughters to join so that I could buy from them. I was like, there's no way that I could do this. But then I spent so much money. I've I've spoken this to so many people. I searched the word Sensi in my bank account one day and in three months, or I think just with one daughter, it was $786. I was embarrassed. I was genuinely embarrassed and nobody knew I did that, but me. So all I thought of is I need to make that money back. <laughs> and I went on my daughter Haley's site and I signed up and in three weeks, my first commission check was 897. So I made the money back. So from there, it didn't matter anymore what happened. Like, I didn't care if I made any more money. I was just doing it for the discount. One day on a whim, I made a group and everybody started buying from me. Like, and I literally, I tell everybody all the time, if you think I'm just over here, like not being gracious, not being thankful, I am thank I don't care if you buy one wax or they buy one wax and a cotton cleanup. I don't know what their financial situation is. I don't know if they did that just because they want to show me love. They want to support me. I am extremely thankful for big purchases, small purchases, just anything that they buy because they've chosen to spend that money with me. And I tell everybody, I just want a small bit of what you buy from Walmart. My goal right now is 20 people using laundry care. I think I have four or five, including myself. And if, I mean, if, if, if I, I tell everybody all the time also, they want me to tell them how I feel about the products and make that their story. And I say, no, put jammy time in the washer, take it out. And how do you feel? Like, I remember my first laundry product I used was black raspberry vanilla. And I'm going to be honest, I couldn't smell anything. And I went right back to Tide and Downy. And I said, no, 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 you've got to try this stuff because in order to sell it, I feel I have to use it. I never wanted a diffuser. I have four in my house now. I have oil for what? Like all those girls, I was like, what are you guys talking about? I'm obsessed, like seriously obsessed. I have, I, they're everywhere. But I used jammy time. That was my second um, laundry scent. And I literally was like in love, like more than Tide and Downy. I was in love for four days. My, my bed linen smelled amazing. Like they just came out of the washer. So that's why I tell everybody, you know, like we all tell everybody, be your best customer because truly you can sell the product if you are using it. There are certain things I don't like. I don't like car bars. I don't like scent circles. Like I give them away for free, but I give them other items, you know, other options. I'm honest. I, this, I don't like, but I like this. This works way better. This is a better value. A room spray in your car is a better value than a scent circle and all that, those kind of things. So I'm very, very honest with everybody as far as what I like and what I don't like. I don't talk often about what I don't like unless they specifically ask. Um, and passion. I'm huge on sharing my passion. Everybody sees me and they're like, there's the mermaid Scentsy girl. And that's the point of branding because we're all Scentsy girls. If we can set ourselves apart a little bit, 
They know for me, they're getting a mermaid bag, a mermaid pen, a mermaid ribbon, something, mer but I'm mermaid obsessed as it is. So it was an easy choice for me. Uh, I spoke with Libby who she's with Elena. I spoke with her one day about, you know, choosing something rather than a VIP and this, that, and the other, choosing something you love and making that kind of like your storefront, your brand. And it, it, it kind of helps. I don't know how or why, but it, it works. Something else I had read or watched one day, a marketing video, and it said it takes seven times for a person to read or see something before they're even interested in it. You know what, I, Ray Ray, was it you? It may have been you, um, seven times. And that stuck with me. And it's it's been happening lately. One of my newest teamy, her name is Mel Melissa. When I first started, I messaged her about me selling Sensi because she's a good friend. And she was her, she kindly responded and said she wasn't interested. Here we are six months later, she sends me another message. She's been seeing my accolades and said, I wanna join your team. I was like, you weren't even interested. So me sharing that with her as well, keep sharing, keep sharing. You might have a slow start. Like right now she has like $40 PRV or something like that. I said, but look at you, you're a perfect example of me sharing for six months. It took me six months to crack you, but you're all in now, you are all in. And I'm so appreciative. I have so much stuff that, of course, I put a box together for her to get laundry and everything in her house immediately because she's a single mom. And I want her to be able to use all of the products and be passionate about it so that she is successful. And back to the kit situation too. I, did, I do advise a lot of girls, if I know that they can't afford it, to buy the $99 kit. I chose the $99 kit. Um, my feeling on it is if you don't spend the money now, you're going to spend it like within the first month or so you're going to spend that money. So if you can set it aside, go ahead and do that now. Um, events. World Tour was my first Sensi event. And even though it was virtual, I was so I did not know how I was going to feel about it. I spent the twenty two dollars or whatever it was and attended that event virtually and was super pumped. So I can't imagine how it will be to go to an event live. Um, it was neat to like, just to feel the, the family, the morale, like all of it. So now that I have attended it, I will be, you know, talking a lot more to my team about joining these types of events, especially while they're virtual, because they're going to cost a little bit less. Um, I also like to remind everybody, remember what it was like whenever you first joined Sensi and you were trying to deal with the workstation, how you search something and it's nowhere near, the results are nowhere near what you're searching for. To be patient, I do. I see a lot in like the director's group or the what did you share today group and people are asking questions and their response is it's on the workstation. But a lot of people don't know how to manipulate those filters so that they, get a better search, you know, a better search result. Um, so I like to try to be kind to everybody whenever they are looking for something because they probably have tried and they've probably tried for 10 to 15 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes and nothing came up that they were looking for. So don't think that everybody hasn't looked. Of course, some people haven't and they do go. I used to go uh, to Caitlin all the time and I'm like, forget those work hours. I need this now. <laughs> and of course I was always joking whenever I would say that, but I always wanted an answer right away because I was flipping a party or something. I think it was Elena that I told that to. I was like, screw the work hours. I need to know this right now. Um, and I already went over that. And time. That's something that um, Emma had said is some people join and then they try for two weeks or a month and then they never share anything again. And then they're kind of jealous or whatever of everybody else's success, but that yet they haven't shared one time. Um, it goes back to what I learned from uh, Ray, Ray, the one time I watched one of her lives or something like that. People are not going to just out of the blue come looking for us as a Sensi consultant, as they're gonna go looking for Walmart. We have to remind them, how often do you, scroll Facebook and the next thing you know you're buying some contraption that you had no intentions of ever buying but you've just checked out for $35 for some crap that was probably two bucks so we have to remind them 
maybe they're a little tipsy or something like that and they're going to shop a little bit so if you remind them every single day and you stay in the algorithm your chances of having sales are going to be much more successful i have been I'm literally six months i don't care if i'm on vacation i have had surgery September 1st, I had surgery and that was my first drop. I got up at two o'clock in the morning because I had like $1,100 in sales. Got up at two in the morning, placed all those orders. It was my first time. I had no idea what I was doing or how it was going to work. I was going in blind, like everything else that has happened to me with Sensi lately, well, since joining, but I did it. It was so much fun. I was talking with Caitlin and Elena, like we were all you know, texting and in the group and all that kind of stuff. It was so much fun. And I went back to sleep for about an hour and then went and had surgery. So I felt good about myself because I made money before I went and did that. Um, so showing up every day, posting every day, and eventually it will all come and you'll grow your customer base. Uh, so that's about it. Um, thank you for having me. And now you can take over. <laughs> That was so good. You rocked it. Okay, you had me freaking crying at one point. Bringing the tears. Bringing the waterworks. You I'm did a crier so too. good. Yeah, I'm a crier too. It's it's bad. It's real bad. My husband's like, are you seriously crying? I'm like, you should already know. <sighs> Always crying. Yeah, both of you guys killed it. Does anyone have any questions? Drop them in the chat. Okay, I do want to say one thing that I really love about first of all I've been saying your name wrong why haven't you told me that <laughs> well here's the funny thing I, I'll tell you this really quickly about my name I named myself what? um yes so I short 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 truly a super 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 abusive family my parents are not kind my mother wanted a boy uh, she named me after my father it's a boy's name and I went through lots and lots of therapy and my grandmother always called me Dee Dee, and I didn't want my name to be Dee Dee. I chose Deanna, so I, I named myself about ten years ago. I love, well, I love it. Yeah. So yeah, whenever I've people say it wrong, Deanna I'm like, time. I picked it, so I know how to say it. <laughs> <laughs> that, is yes. that is that's amazing because you just talking, you spread such a light. Just, I mean, just looking at your profile, looking at you, you, the way you talk, like you literally light up and I don't know, I agree. All, don't need to know all your history, but you just sharing that little bit. I'm like, I've always been a very honest person. I think sometimes I share because it explains a lot about me. I'm very, I could be socially awkward sometimes. This right here is. I mean, like, this is when you guys were announcing how many people I was here. I was like, you know what? I should just leave. I should just leave. I mean, they'll never <laughs> ask. They'll never say, I'm so, oh, I got sick. It's difficult. But meeting all of you guys, I know I haven't, like, met you all. But I see all of your names come up and posts and things like that. I appreciate everything you share. And I, I want to be able to give back. I know sometimes I'm, I don't post as much or share as much. But I'm very thankful. Well, I just want to say um, just the little bit that you told us about your team and like, I can tell that you guys are very close knit. I love that, that you don't see that often. And I think that's why, like it, it pulled on some strings over here. I'm like, dang, maybe I need to connect with more of my people, which I'm close to some of my people, not all of them, but I really love how close knit you guys are. And the fact that you're willing to help train someone else who technically isn't in your team or group um that right there says a lot about you so thank you so much for sharing I know that I know that this was nerve-wracking but um I am thankful that you came on here and talked to us so thank well, you thank you so much for having me I appreciate yeah. it yeah yeah I mean people will never forget how you made them feel yep and you yeah, you hit schedule with five people that oh yeah I remember when you hit it was very very fast and we hit not only did we hit it but I think it was like three months that it was just the few of us 
and and yeah. I kept telling everybody it's okay like if we don't hit it we're gonna go into this Q thing and then we have I mean I don't know what I'm I'm reading everything <laughs> I'm researching and they're all like no 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 we're not we're gonna and I don't know how we've we've come together each time I mean we not only hit it we go we get a little bit extra and then I always hope that that little bit of extra will save till the next month but yeah there was there was five of us there was five of us and. It's been crazy, but everybody's doing so good. And it's just nice to see, even though some of the guys, you know, some of their um, husband or boyfriends, they're not happy at first, but then they see that first paycheck and then they see the second paycheck and they realize, okay, this is real. Like you guys can actually make money. And not only that, getting your cleaning products for free and half off and your scented home for free and half. I mean, all of that has, there's a value to all of it. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And- as the leader it says a, well you have you having a relationship with them and you leading and showing them and them trusting you because trust is ultimately they're not going to listen to anything any, anybody has to say unless they have a trust trusting relationship with you and you leading in the way that you're leading is a direct reflection of your leadership I know you don't want to hear that because I know you don't yeah. take comments well but it's a direct reflection of your leadership um, that they trust you, that you hit that director numbers with that small number. Yeah. I tell them all, I'm telling them all the time. I tell them all the time, like girls, we are amazing. Like this is great. This is not normal. I tell them all the time. This is not normal. I've hit 2k like every single month and I don't even know. Okay. Wait a minute. You've hit way more than 2k. Let's be real. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That's true. But my goals are small. Like I tell, my goal is every month to get $200. That's it. And then once I get that, I say, please God, give me 500. And I just 500 at a time. Like I can't think of the big picture. And then at night when I'm laying in bed with my boyfriend, I'm like, look, look at what, look at where I'm at today. Like it's the fifth and I'm at this and he's probably overhearing it seriously, but I'm tickled pink and I want to convey that. And I do a lot of times, this is something else that I do because I'm able to right now, if, you know, local people, I am giving a lot because I have so much and I don't, I don't want to pay postage. I'm the most frugal girl on the planet. I do not want to pay postage. So there is occasion where I will buy a gift certificate from the Sensi thing, which I've actually quit doing that. Now I just message people and I'm like, Hey, you can have $10 off your next order. And I take that out of my pocket. There's a lot because I want them to try something else or rather than sending them a thank you gift or whatever, every now and then I'm spending $10 rather than the postcard and the stamp. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I'm like the most frugal person on the planet. I do heartfelt thank yous for every single purchase, but they're digital, like they're online. Um, I don't send thank you cards. I know that that sounds terrible, but I I do heartfelt thank yous. Like they, uh, many people have expressed to me how they feel they have bought from a, another Sensi person and they've expressed to me that they feel that I'm genuinely thankful I just feel like the thank you cards you know it's going to add up for me and then I'm going to be overwhelmed with the cost of the stamps and the postcards and I want to put a scent circle and all of that's just going to add up and that becomes overwhelming to me and when something is overwhelming then I don't do it at all so my thank yous are always individual you know, when everybody purchases, they get an individual heartfelt thank you. And I think that they, they all appreciate it. Um, I would love for you to do a live on the leadership page about that, because I'm interested in that. Because I agree once I'm the same way, once I get overwhelmed that I'm like, okay, let, let me just, let me just walk out of here. Let me, I need to go do something else. And, um, that might be something that, a lot of other consultants might would rather transition to versus doing the handwritten thank you notes. I don't think that you have to do a handwritten thank you notes, but I mean, you're clearly showing your customers appreciation other ways. Yes. So I would love to, I would love for you to go into more detail about that. Like, you know, whenever you can in the future. Yes, I can definitely do that now that I've, yeah. <laughs> I've never even thought to do something like that. I see all of you guys. And honestly, when I see it in my story, I have to make it go away. And then at night I lay in bed, I think, all right, if you did thank you cards, you know, maybe you would have more sales, but 
I can't, I literally, it just makes my, my palms sweaty. I can't imagine the amount of money that is being spent. And I, and I, and I thank them all, you know, there's a digital thank you. I do a drawing every month where they get $25 off. All they have to do is share a picture of their purchase and they're entered in the drawing. And it's, I get more sales from people sharing a picture of their purchase. And it's a crappy picture half the time. And here I am staging everything, but they're not listening. Or cotton cleanups. If you guys have not gone on your story with cotton cleanups, I sold seven in one day. Nobody knew what they were. And I sold seven. Now everybody's added it to their cart. And I mean, I know it's only $3 PRV, but it adds up. It adds up to be yeah. another need that they have to buy. So you need to I share for real, because you know what, like just listening to you, I do the same thing and I'm sure people do it with me. I'm like, I need to do all these lavishing things to thank my customers. Obviously it's working for you because your PRV shows it's working. Mm-hmm. And That's what I was I, about to say. Why are you questioning your PRV? Look at it. <laughs> yeah. And I don't do gift cards from the family store. I made my own on Canva and I just save it to my Canva and I actually type in their name to and from they Venmo me the money and I email it from my phone. Yeah, I learned they can use those uh, gift cards anywhere. So I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, can yeah. only with me with Katie Lasseter and it has right. me and my boo boo's <laughs> character on it. Well, yeah. I had a, a, a lady that buys from me that got a, a gift card from a family member for another consultant and she asked me if she can use it with me. And I was like, well, we can try. Sure enough, it worked. Now I felt bad for the other <laughs> consultant, but maybe my thank you was more. And so she wanted to buy it through me. So, oh, I'm picky. If I'm doing yep. a gift card, you're going to be using it with me because yep. I've got customers that way, forever customers that would have never bought from me otherwise had they not gotten a gift card. Right. I need to so, make, that's my, yep. really, yeah, I can't wait to watch that live because I think a lot of my team personally, they don't like to do mail outs. Um, it's not cost effective for a lot of them and at time. So I feel like they would learn a lot. From that. And a lot of my girls struggle with the postage. Mm-hmm. So I think that that, that would be a huge like game changer for a lot of people, myself included, honestly. Um, so yeah, I, I can't wait to watch that video. Um, also, I wanted to share with you guys too, in case you guys did not hear, um, Deanna, And her daughter are both consultants and they are both directors. So I want you guys to realize that if they can do it and they're literally mom and daughter, you guys can do it too. Okay. Like they are killing it together, which means that they know you guys know like a lot of the same people, right? We do. And I tell everybody, don't let that stop you. There's only so many that intermingle. And yes, there's three of us. There's two daughters, both directors, and me. Wait a minute. Who is the other daughter? Callan. What? Callan's your daughter? Yeah, Callan's the one that I bought seven hundred and eighty-six dollars from. Oh my God! I did not, not realize that. They, I did not realize that Callan and Haley are sisters, and you're their mom. I knew Haley was, but I did. What the heck? Where have I been? Yeah, That's and great. I was the one that told them. I was like, "You guys need to sign up so I can buy this from you." That That's is great. wild. Okay, y'all, they are all directors. I just want you to know. Oh, okay, with the that same is family, same friends, but then there's there's a little bit extra, obviously, because you know we all have our own customers who buy from us individually. But then there's some of us that cycle through all of us. Yeah, y'all need to do oh a, my gosh, I'm mind blown right a group live. You and your daughters need to do a together live video because that's freaking crazy. Well, yeah, we'll be because a lot of people have excuses to where like, oh, well, I can't do it because my sister sells it or my cousin or my best friend down the street sells it. Look, if a mama and her two daughters can do it and rock it out, literally hit director, all three of you, that says something right there. Yeah. Right there. I'm yeah. mind blown that Callan is your daughter. Yeah. How did I not know this? I think there was a post I don't know how I didn't know this. I shared on the leadership page yesterday from the No Shame Sales Game Instagram where it says, you know, your upline can give you all the tools and resources, but only you are in charge of being successful. The resources to be successful are all there. All there. 
literally all there. It's this. It's this that'll make you yep. successful. That's freaking, that's freaking crazy. And it goes to show, I mean, me and Ray, the same situation. We live 15 minutes from each other. I dropped an order off this morning on my way to drop Aiden off with a girl that never ordered for me before. Her niece and her daughter both sell it. She ordered for me because I did a personal special. I dropped it off and she said, I'm going to start buying my stuff from you. I said, really? What well, doesn't? Because she's my front line. So I know I'm like, well, don't such and such still sell it? She said, yeah, but it takes months for me to get my order. And she just hands it to me. She doesn't wrap it. Yeah. Makes they it care, wow. y'all. They care. They care. I yep. had a, a similar situation with a lady that started buying from me. Her message to me, and of course I screenshot it and save it, was my daughter's friend sells Sensi, but you are, what was, I forget her exact words, but it was something about me being tenacious that she felt drawn to buy from me. And then I begged her to have a party. No, no, no. Her party's sitting at $900 right now. <laughs> See? Oh my gosh. These people, man, they're like. Is that a Facebook uh, party? <laughs> Yeah. Well, see, also another thing is I don't do one week and two weeks. I do parties for 60 days. Most of my parties are 60 days. I okay. post in them. <laughs> That's another training I'm going to Yeah, need. you don't you yeah. have to share on that. Yeah, I do You're about to hate us. You about to I hate us. I post in them day. It's, it's a slow process, but I don't, I mean, I was, a, I ended up, I got a divorce after 12 years, didn't know it was going to happen. I was cheated on. And I know what it's like to not have, like you, you get invited to something and you want to buy, but you can't right now. It's going to take a bit for you to be able to put $50 or hundred dollars aside to buy something. So I treat everybody like they don't have the disposable income to just buy it. So when I get an order for a hundred dollars or $200, I am, I don't know, like, or 20 bucks. I don't know what it took for them to just throw that money at me unplanned. So the party's long. I mean, what's the benefit to closing it at month end if I'm not flipping it? That's what true. There's no benefit. So when everybody's like, and when I first started, everybody's rushing to close all these parties. I was like, why? Why are you closing them? Like, you're not flipping it. So it doesn't matter whether it's the end of the month. And I was like, who cares? There's new stuff coming out. <laughs> I will not close a party. If I know there's stuff coming out, I will keep that party open. I will keep it open. You're going to hate us. I was going to say, when you say that, are you getting the orders online through for the party? It's not yeah, like you I have or Yeah. Yeah. The, the customer is submitting the order themselves. I've not yet explained the process of collecting orders and doing it for free shipping. That would be, that again, that's, that's going to make my palm sweat. How am I going to manage all this? It's so much easier to let them do it on their own time. Yeah. I agree. And it's very hard to explain it to. Um, there's very, honestly, the only people that I have even explained it like that are my VIPs who I personally deliver. But if I do parties, like, unless someone asks me, they pay in the shipping and I will send you a little prize. Okay. Because I am not about that life. Right. And also now, your, your host coaching, if you're having that many successful online parties, I'm just going to say it. I suck at Facebook parties. Hey, them. We'll talk my host out of doing them because I freaking hate doing them. You're host coaching in a way that they are all successful. Yeah. And I'm going to know about that guy. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I, I, it's not overwhelming. It's literally one post a day. One post a day, which I do at night. I haven't even started Vizzle or all that stuff at night. I've got eight parties, I think, nine parties going right now. I schedule a post. And then if I get a wild hair at my butt, then come eight o'clock that night, I do another post. No more than two posts a day. And nine times out of 10, it's the same post. After I've gone through like the first seven to 10 days, now all I'm doing is what I'm posting in my VIP, I'm posting in my parties. It's like the first seven to 10 days is the, what is Sensi? Here's the wax, Target warmers, Walmart warmers, our warmers. And I had a customer fact check me. I never even fact checked it. The Sensi warmers warming at a lower temperature. I just said, that's what Sensi said. So that's what it is. So a customer sent me a message and said, hey, is there a difference with the warmers and the wax? Because my Target warmer, I put the Sensi wax in it and it's gone in a day. Like the scent is gone. And I said, well, they say... 
that the Sensi warmer warms at a lower temperature, so it dissipates into the air at a slower rate, so it lasts longer. She used a thermometer, fact checked it for me, and it was 30 degrees hotter. So she didn't go buy no target warmers anymore. And then another girl two days later, who I met because I bought some Ray Dunn items. And every time I buy Ray Dunn, I give them a catalog and a, and a wax bar. So I'm giving away $6. That chick came back and in two weeks spent over 200 bucks. Text me one day and said, I'm going to Target to buy some more warmers. And I said, hold on a minute. And the day before I had got that message from my friend. So I screenshot it, sent it to her. And then I sold her warmers from my stock that I used because I'm, I'm getting too much. The diamond milk glass, I traded out for the love connection, sold her that for 15 bucks. I used it for four months and I still sold it for more than I paid for it. So they, I mean, she bought like four warmers from me that day used. And I told her they were used for, yeah, because that, I gave her one wax bar. So when you guys are out buying stuff on Facebook marketplace, give them a wax bar. I've done it four times and two times it's come back and they've bought from me. That's awesome. I need to start doing that. I mean, I have a million freaking bars that are just sitting here that I don't I even like the scent of. Jeez. I know. I'm like, what can, can this warmer hold a whole brick? Like, can this yeah. warmer? <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen with all this wax, but. Uh. Oh man. Yes. All right, y'all. Well, you guys, you guys rocked it. Thank you both for speaking. Um, I, I know Katie does too. I love hearing from you guys. So this is, this is, okay. This is what we are looking for. Okay. For the rest of the year, we, y'all don't want to hear us talk. Okay. You hear us talk all the time. We want to hear y'all speak. Okay. And tell us what you're doing because first of all, I've never heard of doing virtual like little gifts. Never, never thought of that. Um, and 60 day parties never heard of that either so <laughs> that's why we want you guys to come up here and talk to us because we learn from y'all shoot i'm just gonna tell y'all i've been in a funk for the last two weeks i don't know what's wrong with me and y'all just pulled me out okay i'm over here like okay i'm looking around my office like all right we're, we're about to get some shit done tonight <laughs> so thank you same i'm like no nope, ain't nobody getting no mail no more you gonna get you a email gift certificate so i can get a reorder you about to get ten dollars off your next forty dollar purchase so i can get some reorders that's, get right. Some PR. that's no, right no, i was just gonna add that i do i do make an amount and it has to be pre-tax pre-shipping so yeah yeah i'm about to get on that that's reoccurring prv i'm actually gonna do that with my with box my sensi club people i'm not gonna do box this is my last month to do boxes yep that's I'm not, what i'm doing yeah. with sensi club too they're getting they getting it's some too much coupons they you guys made me nervous with that. I yeah. see everybody sending out for Scentsy Club, and I'm like, now nah, I got to do that too. <laughs> Wait, yep. Katie, no. Rachel, what are y'all doing no. for Scentsy Club? Huh? What are y'all doing for Scentsy Club? I do. I started doing boxes because I was seeing everybody else do boxes, mm. and it's not. I it's I can't do that like long term. Not as my Scentsy Club is growing and growing and growing. So I'm gonna do gift cards. I'm going to do gift cards um, and I'm going to do like $10 off your next $40 purchase. Mm -hmm. This way I can get the PRV and I can use the host credits to not come out of pocket. Oh, that's smart. I was, I was trying right. to find a way to get, get rid of my Scentsy Club boxes because people were super pumped about them, but they were spending like 10 to $15. And I was, it was like six bucks just to send it. And I'm like, it's a lot. I'm spending it's more money sending it than I am getting from you. They're just like ordering some of the month. And I'm like, I have like five people that order like $10 and I'm like, y'all, that is yeah. not worth these boxes. I'm sorry. It, yeah. It's too much for long-term. Mm -hmm. um, I'd rather just do my Canva gift card and I can print it. And then when I mail their send of the month, I can slip that in there, send them up and say something like, thank you for being part of the club, get whatever off your next purchase. And I can theme it every month. Like mm -hmm. I can theme the gift card every month and change it up. It doesn't even need to be a money off. It could be like, uh, get a free bar of wax with your, with your next $30 purchase. So I'm going to do I that. Like the idea I, of, I like the I idea do of that. theming, Katie, because then you have the ability to know what month they like purchased in. 
Mm -hmm. so you don't have to really keep up with that anywhere else too yep it's it's too much to do the boxes but this is like ray said y'all sharing like this I'm with Ray. I've not been in a great place the last two weeks. Just not. I have a lot of family stuff going on. Hearing from you guys is equally as important as you guys hearing from us because I think is right. I can't. Yeah, I'm here. Wait, you're you're muted. Unmute yourself. I think sometimes people look at our titles. And they're like, oh, they got it. They got it together. They know everything. But we also need to be fed into as much as you guys. Um, and my vision for this page, Leaders with a Dream, and these calls is to be a collaborative way to lead. Not me and Ray are leading our entire group, but we all, lead consultants and above, are leading our groups together. That's, that was my vision going into 2021 for this group is a collaborative way to lead and different visions and different I learn from so many different people um and I don't learn from other people I mean it really just depends on personality but we learn so much from you guys and I also feel like it also brings stuff out of you guys that you guys want to otherwise share it makes you guys more confident it makes you guys more empowering and the more and more you do those things the more your teams will do it so I that's my vision. I have thoroughly enjoyed you you two tonight. Thoroughly. Same. Same. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. having me. And I just want to add one more thing and then we'll I'll end it. Um, I will upload this to um, YouTube. So if you guys want to share it with your teams, that will be available. It takes me forever to upload this video. So just be patient with me, but I'll post on the leadership page when it's up there. Um, but I just want to remind you guys, like, just because another consultant's doing it doesn't mean you have to do it exactly like that or, or that you even have to do that activity, period, okay? Like, base whatever you're doing in your business on your customers, what culture you personally want and what activities you want in your business, okay? Just because I'm doing it or Katie's doing it or Deanna's doing it doesn't mean you have to do it. And if you want to do it, but you don't want to do it our way, perfectly fine yep okay don't get stuck in comparison because we do it too there's so many times i'll see somebody doing something i'm like i should probably do that i should probably i need to do that or let me redo all this stuff because she did it and then before you know it i've done nothing income producing because i'm too worried about keeping up with the jones when i need to be keeping up with the lassiters Katie, yeah. I just went in my stories today. I literally <laughs> went in my stories today saying y'all need to stop keep, or trying to keep up the Joneses and going broke for them. I literally <laughs> just talked about that in my stories today because I feel like people compare, but I will say in the leadership page, like since I've been on it, it's grown a lot in the last two months of people sharing and I'm a visual person. So if y'all, I mean, y'all see me post all the time, but I learn when people post like videos and pictures, like I will zoom in on them. I am horrible with wording. Y'all can ask whenever Rachel and them have me make that freaking thing. <laughs> I asked like 5,000 times. I was okay. like, is this okay? Hold up, hold up. I'm just gonna point it out, y'all. She put that it was the OBX, North Carolina, Virginia. And I said, hold up. Is there an OBX in Virginia that I don't know about? <laughs> I think I recently that picture to our group chat like 10 times and I'm like, wait, wording. So when y'all post pictures of what y'all do, look, I zoom in on y'all's labels because I am horrible with wording. I'm like, what, how do I, how do I word this? And so I love when people share what they're doing and like their pictures. Um, I think it's awesome because when I first started, I was horrible, like horrible. I just be like, felt wax. Here you go. And now I can word it kind of cute because of y'all. So but it's just funny. I just did a story today about like keeping up the Joneses and how important it is not to do that and going broke, literally. I have James actually do a call for you guys one time because we just had we just had a conversation last week or the week before where we were. He was asking me why I was doing something. I'm like, yeah, because such they love it, so I'm gonna do it. And he goes, but Katie, when you started, when I started this, I didn't have a laptop. I didn't have a computer. I literally did team trainings in a gas station parking lot because we had no internet at home. And I hand wrote my labels. I didn't have a printer. I had to hand write my sample labels. And my PRV has always been 2000 since my second month of being a consultant. 
I think we get lost because there is such an overload of information that we get lost and we soak all this information up when really the most important thing that you can do for your business is be humble and be grateful. If you say thank you, that's the best thing that you can do for your business. Everything else doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're mailing a million things. If It doesn't matter if you have the best postcards or have the best thank yous. It doesn't matter if you're not texting thank you, if you're not saying thank you. And at the when I started, we were broke. We, we were broke, broke. All I had was my thank you. That's all I had going for me with a, with a verbal thank you. That's all I had going for. And that was enough. And sometimes you have to be reminded of what was enough. You know, there's a difference between evolving and growing and wanting more out of your business. And that's great. There's a whole nother ball game if you are overwhelming yourself trying to do all, all the things that don't matter. You got to pick what matters, what truly matters in your business. Yep. Yep. Well, thank you guys for joining. You guys rocked it out. And I, now I'm ready for next month. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great night. And that's I have a one road. question. Yeah. Are we to view like later on can we view all the the like co the comments and stuff no you can't okay. view the comments do you okay. want to view them i got, I got I you i'll copy them and paste them and inbox them to you thank you so much oh perfect look at you emma go get it oh send them to me too because look at you go being ahead, on my like, phone like, i don't have like the option to like look at the screen and look at the chat it's it's a struggle on your phone i don't know why i chose to do this call thanks. on my phone let me know when you're done emma okay because i'm not going to close it out yet yeah you can stop recording if you want though <laughs> <laughs> hold on hold on i gotta figure out how to do that okay <laughs>